balancing the watts. Preparing the lancing device before measuring. Rotate and remove the cap of the lancing device. Insert a lancet into the mounting pad and push it all the way in. Carefully twist off the protective cow. Do not throw away the protective cow. Depth of blood sampling can be adjusted from 1 to 5 the higher number means deeper penetration. We recommend you start with 3. Cock the lancing device by holding the adjustable tip in one hand and pulling on the sleeve with the other hand until the device clicks. Wash hands on sample site using soap and warm water. Rinse and completely dry before testing. Preparing the meter and test strip. Make sure the meter is turned off. Open the battery compartment and insert two batteries with a positive side, facing up and close the car. Insert a test strip with the contact bars facing upwards into the meter's test strip for gently until the meter beeps. The ready symbol will appear on the screen. Blood sampling and measurement. If the meter is ready, place the lancing device against the pad of the finger and press the trigger button. When the ready symbol appears, apply the blood sample. Make sure the confirmation window is full. If the confirmation window is not filled before the meter starts counting down, error 4 or a wrong result may appear on the screen. The meter may switch off if the blood sample is not applied within 2 minutes of the ready symbol appearing on the screen. If the meter switches off, either remove the strip and reinsert it or just press the S button while the strip is inserted. The result will display after the meter counts from 5 to 1. The results will automatically be stored in the meter. If you remove the test strip, the meter will be automatically switched off after 3 seconds. After measuring, unscrew the tip cap of the lancing device by rotating it in an anti-clockwise direction. Without touching the lancet, Place the lancer tip into the protective cowl and throw it away. To use the eject button to push out the used lancet, you must cock the lancing device again before using the eject button. Rescrew the tip of the lancing device back on.